the girls grade five today i feel proud to present to you uh, yet another lesson sst and our topic today is location of kenya in terms of latitudes remember boys and girls the world the, the world looks like a spear and uh, there are lines we call them what there are lines we call them latitudes and there, there are two types of lines, latitude, and then we have the so-called long, longitudes, longitudes. And these points are not, you know, they are just imaginary. We just imagine these lines do exist. So, latitudes la, la, runs from uh, east to west like this. They move this way from east to west, east to west like that, boys and girls. And then longitudes, they run from North Pole to South Pole like this. From North Pole to South Pole like this, boys. And they are quite a number of them. They are not to have just only just two because of time. Yeah, those are the lines. But now, first and foremost, I want us now to look at Kenya in terms of latitudes. Pay attention. Kenya lies between Kenya lies between five degrees. No. Kenya lies between 5 degrees north and, uh, and what? Kenya lies between 5 degrees north and uh, 4 and a half, 4 and a half degrees, uh, 4 and a half degrees, mm, what? 4 and a half degrees south. This means what? What does this one mean? This means that some part of Kenya are in northern hemisphere. Now you have, this is what we call northern hemisphere, this part up there. And some part from here, from the equator here. And some part the, below the area be, below, uh, below the equator. This one is known as northern hemisphere. And this one we call it southern hemisphere. So we are very correct when we say some parts of Kenya are found in northern, let me write N A N H, northern hemisphere. Some parts of Kenya are purely found in the northern hemisphere and the others in the southern hemisphere. We have just shown. The area above the equator, northern hemisphere. The area below the equator, southern hemisphere. And now, the most northern point of Kenya is at 5 degrees north. The most northern, I'm using the word the most, the most northern point of Kenya the most northern point of Kenya is far is at 5 degrees north 5 degrees north and a town a town known as Kibish a town known as Kibish known as Kibish K I B I S H I a town known as Kibish boys and girls is found at this point, 5 degrees north. Now, the most southerly, most southerly, from the word south, most southerly point of Kenya is at 4 and a half degrees south. And the, the town point the town point at this point four and a half degrees at this point of this four and a half degrees is none other than Vanga none other than Vanga which is at the border of Kenya and Tanzania now remember this boys and girls equator is one of the latitudes by the way it is equator divides Kenya into two almost two equal halves it passes through the equator and that's why we always receive sunlight like you know every time since morning up to sunset so 12 hours uh, we are within the equator and that's why we enjoy the kind of beautiful climate we do enjoy here in Kenya now let's see some of the areas or rather some of the towns and which count they are found where equator does pass through one, Nyahururu town. Nyahururu is found in Laikipia County. You go to Nyahururu, where 
you see the Thompson Falls, you will come up a point as you, as you travel, you will be told you are now crossing the equator. But in fact, this uh, equator, this, uh, this, this point is actually within that, just within that Nyauru. Then the other one, number two, Maseno in Kisumo count. Then that's also another place where the equator passes through. So we have said equator passes through in the following areas. Number one, we have Nyauru in Nyauru. Nyauru in which count? Laikipia count. Nyauru in Laikipia count. Laikipia. Uh -huh. Then we have uh, we have uh, this Kisumu. We have uh, this one is Maseno, sorry. We have Maseno in Kisumo count. Maseno in Kisumo. I'm just be writing the, the count in short form. And Maseno in Kisumo count. Then we also have Edama Ravid. Edama Ravid. Edama Ravid in where? In Baringo count. In Baringo count. Kule Ju Kabisa. In Baringo count. Then we also have Nanuki. Nanuki in it also in the Lake Kipia. And then another town where Equator passes through boys and girls is Timboroa. Where is Timboroa? Timboroa is in Washingishu Count. Uh, there are still many around the. Also, we have Meru in Meru Count. We also have Agadera, Agadara, Aga, Agadera. Yes, is this an experience? Ha, Ge, Agadera. Agadera Town. Where is it found? This one is found in Garissa Count. And last but not least, we have Solai in Nakuru County. So these are some of the towns whereby where the equator passes through. Uh, very quickly, we have Nyauru, we have Maseno, we have Nabarabi, we have Nanyuki, we have Timboroa, we have Meru, we have Agadera, and then we have what? Solai. Today, your teacher, Mr. Mangazi, is here to present yet another SST lesson. And at this time, our topic is going to be location of Kenya in terms of longitudes. Remember this earth we live on in, it looks like a sphere the way I've drawn here. You remember the North Pole? You remember this one? It looks like that baseball, baseball ball. All of you are a baseball, you mean. And then there are those lines which we call them, we say they are imaginary. Because you can never see them with naked eyes. I don't know who came up with that idea, but you see, uh, we have to follow what is written in the books. Now, these lines are two. We have the latitudes and the longitudes. Lat longitudes, they are those lines which go from east, which run from east to west, or west, whatever. And there are quite a number of, many of them. The major latitude is equator, and the equator is always marked zero degrees. Then now, that one, our major interest now is now the longitudes. Longitudes, there are those lines which run from North Pole to South Pole, the way you can see here. Now, longitudes are lines that run from North to South, just like these boys and girls. They run from North to South, like that. They run from North to south boy by boys and girls. That is from north to south like this. And there are quite a number of them. There are many. But remember, the bottom line is all these lines are imaginary. You know, to imagine is to believe something is there. You know. And they help. These longitudes, they are very important. Because, number one, they help in locating places in the world. You know, they help in locating what? Locating places. Yani, they help you to know which area, where is it found, in, in which part of the world, locating places. And also, they do help in what we call time calculation. Time calculation. Those who are in secondary, then maybe upper classes, you know, in SST, you do what we call time calculation. So that you can know if you are traveling from Kenya to UK, 
If you leave here at Nairobi Airport at around 10, what time you will be arriving at the Ethro Airport? Or if you are traveling to the USA, what time will you be arriving at, uh, you know, New York and Waterview? So, long is are very important point that goes, because they help us to locate places and also to tell us time. Now, uh, Kenya lies between longitude. Now, Kenya is lies between, you know, the word is lie. Kenya lies between longitude. Longitude. Kenya lies between longitude 34 degrees east and 40 what? And 42 degrees east. 34 degrees east and 42 degrees east. What does this one mean? This, why east, east? Why that four east and the 42 east? This is because Kenya lies and diary on the east of the Premier Meridian. This is because Kenya lies and diary completely, Kenya and Patikana completely to the east, to the east of this great, great longitude which is known as the prime, prime, prime meridian. Because Kenya is completely found to one side of this line. Which means no part of Kenya is to the west of Prime Meridian. Or the, or Kenya is entirely to the east of Prime Meridian. And the most, listen to this one, the most western point of Kenya is at longitude that 4 degrees, yeah. While the most eastern point of Kenya is to the what? Well, for 2 degrees. The map below will help you to enhance what I've just said. Boys and girls, keep on it. Continue loving this subject and you go wonders. You will perform wonders. Have a blessed day. May God bless you.